All righty. Today, we are talking about some of our favorite audio books. So make sure you keep listening because we've got some good recommendations coming your way. If you're hearing all this culture talk and want to be a part of a thriving, growing culture, we want to invite you to be a part of Squeeze In. Squeeze In Franchising offers you the chance to bring a culture and a vibe like Squeeze In to your community. You can make money. You can get time freedom for you and your family. We would love to have you as part of our Squeeze In family. Join us in the ownership team and go to squeezein.com slash franchising. You're enjoying this episode on Angel Phoenix Productions Podcast Network. To explore our complete lineup of quality programs and media production services, head on over to angelphoenix.com or like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash angel phoenix productions. Okay, audiobooks are the subject for today. You're going to love it because we love it and the industry data is showing that audiobooks have been on the rise in a big way. We see this with the emergence of even apps like Audible, and now there are apps that you can get that give you the summary of books via listening form, the explosion of information shared via podcasts. I mean, it is clear that audiobooks and audio learning are definitely, I don't want to say the way of the future because, man, it's the way of the now. Right. Well, Spotify's also added audiobooks, um, and then we've got the Apple app as well. So we see this growing industry. We see this growing um, desire for audiobooks. And there's a lot that you can do with an audiobook. Now, we already talked about the benefits. If we want the maximum benefits from reading, we're going to read a physical book. We're going to take notes. We're going to, uh, as teachers call it, you're going to annotate the text as you go. That's going to be the quote, quote, best way to consume a book. But uh, probably our favorite way to consume a book is is through Audible and through an audio book. And one of the reasons is because there's so much more creativity that can be allowed. And some authors and producers are starting to move more in that direction, which makes it so fun to listen to. You almost forget it's actually a book. All right. So we're going to start today's audiobook recommendations out with a global author. None of his audiobooks can you go wrong. First off, his voice is adorable. His research is sound. Let's give it up for Malcolm Gladwell. Mr. Malcolm Gladwell. He kind of has as he kind of talks like that, which is why you're hearing Kay and I do that. I, probably also the most famous sociologist. So from a sociology standpoint and social sciences, let's celebrate our main guy out there. But recently we listened to his production called The Bomber Mafia. And it's not like any other audiobook where you're going to get lots of social science, conceptual theories and ideologies. This one is really specific about the formation of our air strategy during World War uh, post-World War One and into World War Two, and what that looked like. And, and he's always been fascinated by the history. He did, he makes this audio book, but it is so much more than an audio book. There are newspaper reels. There are sounds of clips. There are interviews with veterans. There's all of this. There's music that plays during some of the story you parts. You the planes. <laughs> right? It, you get all of these elements that really make, I mean, it kind of feels like an NPR broadcast. It really does. But it, it is a long form book. You can pick it up and read it and it's still fascinating but this adds another dimension and Malcolm Gladwell actually does this in a lot of his audiobooks would recommend talking to strangers uh, as he had an entire soundtrack uh, created for the book itself and plays clips from it as he goes along Um, so really a a pioneer in the audiobook industry and Malcolm Gladwell would recommend any of his material now we love getting into celebrity biographies that are read by the celebrity because you just get things that you don't necessarily hear uh, or you don't read when you pick up the book physically. Now, the number one we're thinking about right now is Will by Will Smith. He reads it in the Audible. You do get some uh, of that same uh, audio c- a complement of different elements, which is uh, helps bring the richness alive, but you don't really need it because Will is already so dynamic, so interesting, so entertaining, and we're telling you, 
if you listen to the audio book or you read the book, you'll understand a lot more where he was coming from when he made the decision to get up there and now had the infamous slap around the world. You'll have a lot more context if you read or listen to the book. Would highly recommend listening. (laughs) I know when we saw the slap heard around the world, we definitely were like, oh, but we know so much about you. (laughs) We, We get it. We understand. So would recommend. Another one that's read by the author is D uh, or that has more than what you might anticipate in the story is David Goggins can't hurt me. Now it's not read by the author, but what they do have in the audiobook are these in-between interview segments where David expands on a story. He talks about if something's true or not, discusses it a little bit further, and you just get more out of the experience than you would have you only have the book in reading form couple of quick shout outs here as we round out. You've already heard us mention the autobiography of Willie Nelson. It is not read by Willie, but you completely forget that the second that the narrator (laughs) starts because it sounds just like what you imagine Willie would sound like. And it is written in a conversational tone. So I had many laugh out loud moments. (laughs) Me too. And and choked up tearful moments listening to this book. So would recommend, would also recommend, it's a real short list in an hour and seven minutes, Wolfpack by Anne. Ambie Wambach, an amazing uh, work that will truly inspire you and you can consume it in a commute. Yes, Abby Wambach and her book, uh, Wolfpack, which is a compliment to her wife, uh, uh, Glennon Doyle's book, Untamed. The two of those together are an incredible uh, round of audiobooks. Now we got to give it, all right, one final shout out and then we promise we'll let you go because Jack O'Willink in Extreme Ownership sounds just like this. And we would highly recommend that you listen to that book over read it because Jocko has such an interesting voice and hearing their stories from their mouths of what it was like in Afghanistan, boots on the ground in Iraq when we were in the war in 2008 and the early 2010. So highly would recommend Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink and Oh, who's that? There, there's co-author there. Oh, yeah. I'm having a hard time remembering that one. But Jocko is the voice that sticks with you. It is gritty. It is grizzled. It is war-torn. And it is... Leif Babin. Uh, it, <laughs> and you cannot stop listening. So those are our recommendations for audiobooks here in this mini-sode. This podcast was a production of Angel Phoenix Productions. Explore more episodes of this show or other great shows on the Angel Phoenix Podcast Network by visiting angelphoenix.com. The views expressed in this show do not necessarily represent those of Angel Phoenix Productions or its advertisers and may contain language that's unsuitable for younger listeners.